We have been digging into the use of those little black rubber balls used in athletic fields known as crumb rubber. A group of concerned parents and a state lawmaker are calling their use into question. Here's ABC 2's Dakari Turner with what many parents uh, say they want to watch. Well, Kelly, the fields using the crumb rubber first started being widely used about 10 years ago. Their use is being called into question after some say science is pointing to questionable health effects. As a result of one mother's concern, we started looking into the issue for ourselves. Like a lot of parents, Carol Van Dam Falk remembers watching her kids grow up playing athletics. I, I actually miss those days. Okay. All of the time spent, the sacrifice to make it happen, she says, was worth it. It took a lot of juggling with my husband then um, to make sure we, we had full coverage of the games. Then one night, an informational meeting at her kids' Montgomery County High School brought concern. The school was considering the installation of artificial turf, so the mother of three did some digging. There were these concerns raised from groups about the crumb rubber used in artificial turf. She's talking about those little black balls. They're also known as crumb rubber. That rubber comes from hundreds of pulverized rubber tires used as filler between blades of grass on synthetic turf fields. There are close to 300 such fields in Maryland, but the concern from Carol and a group of parents and health professionals is calling their use into question. Number one, there's a lot of toxins and chemical compounds that are known to be carcinogenic. After Carol's group went to her addressing their concerns, State Delegate Aruna Miller has questions too. She sponsored a bill mandating warning signs be put near each field where crumb rubber is used. The bill's language cited a study done by the state of New Jersey in 2008, a study concluding reasonable concern exists for, quote, the potential for lead exposure in fields where the rubber is used. A concern Miller says is amplified when the fields heat up. Artificial turf fields have been recorded to get in the temperatures of 140 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That sentiment was shared during testimony in front of a committee considering her bill. Also testifying at that hearing, Amy Steffen, a member of the Safe and Healthy Playing Fields Coalition, studying crumb rubber for years. Steffen says it's when the fields heat up that chemicals are released into the air around them. The kids or whoever's on the field or even adjacent to the field is going to be inhaling them, and that's our big concern. The science regarding the use of crumb rubber is limited, but here's what we found. In 2009, addressing, quote, public concerns, the EPA launched a limited study into its use on athletic fields. It identified a number of compounds, like lead, commonly found in rubber tires, but its results were deemed inconclusive. A 2010 study done by the state of Connecticut looked at inhalation exposure, tentatively reasoning the use of fields is, quote, not associated with elevated health risks. That study, however, concluded additional testing could be needed. Our schools are adding more and more fields all the time. Ned Sparks runs the Maryland Secondary Public Schools Athletic Association. Its membership includes 200 schools and 113,000 athletes. Supporters for the use of crumb rubber point to the lack of specific scientific evidence directly linking the use of crumb rubber to adverse health effects, an opinion seconded by Sparks. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to play on a good surface. Many times our championship games are late into the season, so fields on a traditional surface would be worn out by that time or muddy or dusty or whatever. And ABC2 also contacted one of the industry's largest synthetic field turf manufacturers. They declined to comment for our story, referring us instead to industry advocacy group, the Synthetic Turf Council. In a statement, they say they believe, quote, reliable scientific data should be the foundation of any discussion and that evidence shows no negative health effects associated with crumb rubber in synthetic turf. Because the science isn't settled on these artificial turf fields yet, and I think once we start to do testing of these, perhaps we will be more where we need to be. Yeah, well, tonight we have learned the State Department of Health and Mental Hygiene is weighing in. They say they'll be asking the Children's Environmental Group for recommendations in its next annual legislative report. The department also says they've asked the Department of Environment, Johns Hopkins University, and the University of Maryland if studies are possible. The Department of Environment tells us they do not have the resources for a study. Still, Delegate Aruna Miller calls it an important, albeit small, step in the process. Meanwhile, some local level governments are weighing in. Just this year, the Montgomery County Council, Kelly, banned the use of crumb rubber in fields built with county money.
All right, thanks, Dakari. But what about the risk of uh, broken bones and twisted ankles or injured knees? Still ahead right here on Unfocus, we go in-depth looking at those injuries that could be caused on this artificial turf.